campaigns when you're going to be needing an umbrella close by. Hi there. Hey, good evening, you guys. You know, it really is a lousy cycle we're stuck in where the rain returns every Friday seemingly around here. What I think this is now eight out of 10 for us here in the football season. All right, let's have a live look across the Ohio River into Covington tonight. Bridge all lit up all nice and clear. It's still a comfortable evening outside. Temperatures haven't fallen much as the clouds have been streaming in and with a little bit of a southeasterly breeze. We're still hanging just shy of 50 in most locations, but boy, those clouds are thickening up and the rain is continuing to stream in our direction. A large area of rain has kind of gathered out to the West. Unfortunately, once rain arrives, the rain chances are here right through the weekend. In fact, I think most of the weekend is dreary and kind of damp and gray. There may be some dry times in there, especially late Saturday into early Sunday, but by and large, it is wet most of the weekend and not the best time to be outdoors. Here's a live look on radar. It is quiet around the area tonight, although we are beginning to see some rain showing up on the radar. This isn't reaching the ground, though. It's going to take a while between the clouds and down here where we live. The air is very dry, so it's going to take a while to moisten up the atmosphere before any rain makes it down to the ground. Temperatures very mild again, generally in the mid 40s for most of us to around 50, 47 in Springboro, Hamilton, 48 in Dealsboro, 48 in Maysville, 47 at the moment in Walton and Dry Ridge. So temperatures don't fall much tonight. In fact, we'll probably get hung up in the mid 40s. I'd be surprised if anyone made it as low as 40 tonight, but 46 at midnight and we'll gradually drop down through the mid 40s before the sun comes up. So high pressure continues to fade away as the storm system situated along the Gulf Coast makes its way towards the East Coast. You can see the spin here through parts of Kansas and Missouri. This large area of rain all going to sling its way through the Ohio Valley. Here's a look at Futurecast. You'll see it's quiet through the night, but coming up on 7 730. I think if you leave early in the morning, you'll you'll be fine. However, I think if you kind of wait to after 630 or 7 o'clock, I can't rule out you won't encounter wet roadways here. So watch what happens as we go through the day. Initially, a lot of that rain is being evaporated by dry air, but I expect a steady light rain to fall occasionally with a few pockets of moderate intensity in there. But here's seven o'clock tomorrow evening as you kick off high school football around the area. Notice we are all painted in green. Now we may see the showers taper off overnight. Friday night into Saturday, but we're going to keep sprinkles, gloomy weather conditions around, lots of cloud cover, some mist drizzle, even when it's not raining. And unfortunately, I think we're stuck with a lot of that for Saturday too, until we kind of start to dry out late Saturday into early Sunday, but that's just a short brief break from the rain. So here's your Blitz 5 football forecast for tomorrow night. It looks wet and cold. Temperatures will be in the 40s with that chilly rain, and it's not looking much better for FC Cincinnati. The only difference, I don't think it's steady, but there will be pockets of rain around if you're heading to Nippert on Saturday. Cool with temperatures generally around 50. And boy, I tell you what, if you're a tailgater heading to the game on Sunday, you get out there early, it will probably be dry. But I think rain's going to move in before tailgating ends and certainly before the game kicks off. And in here, too, again, it will be chilly with temperatures between 45 and 50. So, again, not just the best of weekends to do anything outdoors, really. So cloudy and cool tonight, 43. Tomorrow, cloud, cold rain moves in. Damp will be made tomorrow an impact day. We'll never climb out of the 40s. Here's your day planner. And again, showers, wet weather pretty much impact you all day long. Here's your seven-day forecast. Sunday's another impact day with the rain moving in here for the big football game. Maybe two days to dry out Monday and Tuesday. And unfortunately, Mike and Sheree, Halloween is an impact day right now as there could be a good rain, good soaking starting up late Wednesday afternoon. Don't need any wet ghosts coming up, that's for sure. <laughs>